What's up? In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys five go downs for beginners, coming up. Eight police officers in the hospital. What's up all my upcoming b-boys, b-girls, and crackheads? And welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where I share 20 years of knowledge as a b-boy, but also 15 years experience as a coach. Not to forget all the judging, and the hosting, and the competing, and the traveling. So on this magical breakdance YouTube channel, you can find the best tutorials at any level, including beginners. Like this video, which is part of my beginner series. So yeah, if you're feeling the vibe already, then don't hesitate to subscribe right there, so you can stay up to date every time I upload a new video, or get arrested for a position of crack. So five beginner go downs. A go down is the connection point from your top rocks down to the floor. And it's a great way to scoop some extra points in your round because you can make the entry to your move a lot more interesting. Also, it's also a really good way to see more of you and your ideas and your way of thinking. Now, basically, you can use any move as a go down. And besides any move being used as a go down, you can use any idea or any concept. Just as long as we can visually understand what you're doing, that's basically what you want to do with your go down. You want to inspire others to create their go downs. The only thing I want to add here before we start learning these go downs is the rule that you want to execute your go down on the one. But what's the one? The one is basically a very specific moment that you can find in any track or music you're dancing to while breaking. Now to learn more about the one so you can execute your go down on the one, I have to recommend you to watch this video on musicality explaining you everything you need to know about the one but also a lot more things that are really really interesting for any b-boy or b-girl. So definitely make sure you check out this video right after this one and don't forget I still have the whole beginner series if this video is at your level. All right, so let's get to work on these five beginner go downs and we're gonna start off real easy of course, but then we're gonna make it a little harder as we move on throughout the video. Let's go. First up is the basic go down that is traditionally used for any type of move. It's simple, but yet safe. Step open with your left leg to the side and place your hand on the floor. You also then want to place your left leg to the front, ending up in this footwork position. Once you know the steps, try and add a little bit more speed and fluidity to it. And try to execute this as casual as possible. We can simply add more of a jump when placing our foot on the floor. At this point in time, you want to give this variation a little bit more lift than the basic one, making it look smoother and more like a pro. A small moment of air is more than enough. Up next is the corkscrew. Start from standing and start twisting to the left but keep your feet on the same spot. While twisting, we're gonna bend our knees while keeping the left knee lower than the right one because otherwise, this could get you all tangled up in a very uncomfortable position. Once twisted down to the floor, you're ready to perform any move you like, especially footworks. Hey, if you're liking this video already, then just smash that like button right there so you can help me out rank this video on YouTube. Up next is what I call the CC go down. After finishing up your top rocks, you want to twist your legs, hitting your toes on the floor and switching in between sides to the rhythm of the beat. While hitting these counts on the beat, you're slowly going to drop lower and lower until the moment you find yourself at footwork level or ground level, ready to perform the next move. Use your arms during this go down to create pictures and poses and keep thinking about your style. Up next is the butt slide. Start with a powerful jump as high as you can while tapping both feet to the back. Really work on that form to create that perfect picture moment while in the air. After landing the jump, you want to drop down to the floor and have a seat. After sitting down, you're going to use your arms and legs to push yourself away backwards and perform this butt slide go down. While sliding, watch the arms and take your time while performing this as there is no rush and the better everything is placed, the better everything will be executed. 
All right guys, before I give you the fifth and final go down of this video, I just wanna remind you that I have a beginner's masterclass that you can find on my website. And if this video is at your level, then you're gonna love this beginner's masterclass. Cause it's packed with blow ups, top rocks, go downs, footworks, power moves, freezes, and tons of tips and tricks, all for beginners. So if you're done with the YouTube ads and all that, and you wanna cut straight to the chase, then definitely think about checking out this masterclass. You can find the link to this masterclass in the description down below. Next up is one of my very own go downs to show you how creative you can be when creating a go down. I call this one the circle to thread. Start by creating a big circle with your right hand and at the end of this circle we're gonna reach out behind our legs and connect our hand to our left knee. For the next step we're gonna bring our right leg in and pass the thread over our right arm. When placing your foot back on the floor we're simply gonna pull our knee adding a slide to it and then dropping to the floor creating this original go down. It's okay to cheat while passing the thread depending on how flexible you are. these five go downs that I just showed you right now I'm gonna add a little concept right here a little game that you can try out during your next practice for you to find your own go downs because basically at the end of the day everything you learn from me or anyone else are basically just examples and directions to help you find your own stuff that's right cooking your own stuff in this b-boy game is what this b-boy game is all about so never forget that and then last up we're gonna create our own go down and a great way to get started with this is by using the push and pull concept pushing or pulling certain and body parts to help develop freedom and ideas as a b-boy or a b-girl to help you create and develop your own style moves and vocabulary take your time to experiment with this film yourself and hopefully you'll find something pretty cool real soon all right fellow upcoming b-boys b-girls and crackheads I hope you enjoyed this mother video. And if you've learned something from this video, you can support me by smashing the like button, leaving a random comment, subscribing. You know, YouTube has tons of options for you to help me out. Boost my channel all the way up to number one. This is your man, Coach Sambo, your online b-boy coach with a ton of online tutorials ready and steady for you. Let me know what video you want me to make next so I can get to work. Never forget, at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's just all about that b-boy sh